All right, folks, it's time. I think she's off the stand. Gross. Need to clean my floor. Ugh. But, all right, guys. Ceremonious thing going on here. Back on the ground, and it's time to whew, time to crank this thing over. Well, actually, that's a lie. It's time to put oil in it, then time to crank it over, and then we check for leaks and make sure everything's good after we put some water in it also. So we're going to take this off, so that way we can fill everything. Terrific. All right, let's fill this thing up with oil. So... For this build, we're using 15W40 heavy duty uh, diesel oil because it has good zinc, good phosphorus, and it's not a synthetic. So that's what we're going to use for the first couple hundred miles, and then we'll take it out and we'll put it right back in, and that's what this car is going to run on. So it's easily accessible, should be good for our oil clearances, and we'll see what we get. So, <sighs> stressful times. Time to fill this sucker up, put some water in it. This is it, there's no water in it, and the main barrel connector is disconnected. So, we're just gonna get in and crank it, and we're gonna watch the oil pressure gauge. We're gonna hope that we get some. Nothing yet. All right, we're gonna have to let this battery charge up. It's getting a little tired. Well, we'll see if there's any leaks in the meantime. Plus we can't, we can't take it out just yet because there is, all right, so looks like we have some dribbles. I don't know where they're from, but we're going to find them and we'll, uh, oh no. Well, this is going to be a phone call to Cometic. I found out where the oil pressure's going. <sighs> what a mess. Now I got to pull the head off again and try it again with a new head gasket. So, uh, this may look like we're going the wrong direction and that's because pff, we are. Um, went to fire it up, build oil pressure and the catalog had the wrong head gasket for this engine. So I ended up getting the incorrect Cometic head gasket and that's a problem. So I called them, they've been cool. Um, I'm hoping they can build the correct thickness that I need and uh, send me a new one ASAP. So. Just an FYI, if you go to buy a Cometic head gasket off of like Summit or whatever, they have them cataloged wrong. The C4246 does not fit an 8-valve cross-flow. It fits a 16-valve and an 8-valve counter-flow. So, now you know, and you don't have to learn the hard way, but unfortunately I did, so now i got to finish taking all of this part again. And, um, well, we'll see if we can do it a little faster this time. Thankfully, I know what all my fasteners are. I need a 10, I need a 12, I need a 6 mil, I need a 5 mil, a uh, 13, and a 14 wrench. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to kablamo this thing apart. I might even just leave the lower intake manifold and the turbocharger on. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. All right, here we go. Let me go get my other camera, and uh, we're going to see how fast we can do this, I guess. But before we get started, I guess I'll jack it back up again and put it on stands, and we'll go from there. And then we'll do a montage. All right, stay tuned. Let me jack this car up real fast. All right, as they say, start the timer.
six minutes to pull off a cylinder head. Yep. Okay. The problem is right here. The issue is right here. And we're gonna look at why. So the way this gasket fits on here is like such. Do you see the problem? Now I just gotta clean everything and wait for a new head gasket to come in. Boy, that's rather frustrating. Okay. While this is apart, I guess we'll use this as an opportunity to investigate what wastegate spring is inside this actuator. Because what I'd like to do is set it to a 10 pound spring and then use the duty cycle on the boost controller to bring it up to 20 pounds or as high as it'll safely go with the fuel that we have available. All right, so we have a green spring. Now I gotta go on Forge's website and see what a green spring is. And uh, with any luck, it'll be the spring I need it to be, but based on how this project has gone, it probably will be too much spring. Let's just recap where we're at here real fast. This is where we're at. Top of the engine's off again. Remember, things you should do that I knew better, and I didn't do it anyways because I trusted it was right. Check your parts. This is a head gasket for a eight valve counter flow head, not a cross flow head. This would work on a 16 valve and it would work on the old eight valves. But as you can see by that opening there where the gasket doesn't reach, it certainly does not work on this engine. And that is why we had no oil pressure when I went to crank this over. I'll get this head cleaned up, get it bagged up so it doesn't get dirty, and we wait for Kometic to build me a new head gasket and we will try this for the third time. Well. With that sadness on the floor, this sadness in the engine bay here, uh, and some sadness in my heart, we're going to conclude this video. And next time we look at the rabbit truck, we will be either putting the whole thing back together or putting a new spring in that wastegate. Depends on what research shows me that that green spring is. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I said before, if your project doesn't have bonus parts, is it really even a project? Clearly ours is. Catch you in the next one, guys.